Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is finally going to be my Sephora haul. I feel like I'm probably the last person to get their haul video up and I feel like I'm the last person that got her order in. But it's all good. So today I'm just gonna share with you what I picked up during the Sephora sale. So let's get started. If you have not seen, um, I have shared recently that I have moved, so I am in a new space. Might be a little bit echoey. This isn't what I'm planning to be my like normal background for right now, but I unfortunately, uh, my lights did not make it in the move, so I have new lights coming to me, so I'm like angled awkwardly trying to be by my window the sun is starting to go down i just finished filming my will i buy it where i talk about this more and um i'm just trying to get this one <laughs> filmed before i completely lose all of the light and uh hopefully my lights get here get here to me soon but I'm excited to film my Sephora haul and I'm excited to finally have the products and be able to play with them. I have a few things on my face today. I do always link what I'm wearing in my description box. But my poor Sephora haul, <laughs> it really went through, it, it really went through it. So when I ordered on Friday, the day it started, it said it would get to me on Tuesday. Well, I was going to be in the process of moving, but I was staying a few nights with my great friend, Ashley Clady. She let me stay with her a few nights in Kansas and I was gonna be there on Tuesday. So I said, Ashley, can I have my package go to you? And she was like, yeah. So I sent it to Ashley's and I was like, perfect. And all throughout the weekend, it was like, it'll be there on Tuesday. And I'm like, great. On Monday, it updates to, it'll be there on Saturday. Why that happened, I don't know. And Ashley looked at hers and her package was shipped UPS and she got it on Tuesday. Mine was shipped USPS and didn't get there. It ended up getting there on Friday, but then Ashley had to turn around and ship it to me. I'm like, oh my goodness. So it was like a whole thing. So that's why mine is so late. Um, but I did end up actually going into a Sephora to pick up a few more products that I wanted that became available after I already placed my first order. It's just, it was, it was, it was a whole thing. So let's just, let's jump into it. Let me tell you what I got. So first I'll start off with uh, what's on my face today. So I did get the Fenty Ease Drop. I think everybody got this in the sale. From my understanding, we, we all picked this up, right? That was like a collective thing. So this is the Blurring Skin Tint. I got the shade nine. So like I said, I do have it on today. I will have an Instagram tutorial up on my reels if it's not already up, um, applying the two products that I'm gonna talk about next. So yeah, I like the packaging on this. I kind of like that it's not a glass bottle. Like it reminds me a little bit of like the Dior backstage. And that is such like a, tr you know, travel, I'll say travel friendly, because I just spent many days in a car and hotel rooms and all of that. I mean, I like foundations for that, but skin tints also right now are very, very popular. I just purchased the one from Urban Decay recently, but a lot of brands are coming out with them. I, I mentioned uh, Nabla Cosmetics, I believe it was, it has come out with a new skin tint as I was just filming for my Will I Buy It. So yeah, these are definitely um, pretty popular products. I mean, I know my lighting is not the best right now, but I feel like I feel like I, I like it so far. I literally just put it on like an hour ago, um, maybe like two hours ago at this point, but you know, I'll see how it goes. I do always come back to update um, my hauls and, and all of that with reviews. So I'll definitely share those as soon as I can. Uh, but also that I have on my face is from Dior, their backstage face and body powder, no powder. Like I said, their foundation is one of my favorites, especially for lighter coverage and in the warmer months. Uh, I just like, it's just a favorite of mine. So when they came out with this, I really wanted it. And in my wish list video, I talked about wanting this one and the new one from Tatcha. Well, Tatcha actually sent it to me in PR. I do have it on my under eyes today. And so I was able to try out both, which I was very excited for, because I was like, I only need to buy one. So I was excited to be able to try them both. So for the Dior, I ended up, ended up going with shade three, which is neutral. So this is not one that I would really use on my under eyes um, because it is a little bit deeper, you know, lighting issues are going to be so so but i used it on my face like kind of what i what i want with this one is to be able to use it as a powder foundation um kind of like what i did with my the fenty powder foundation that, that i just purchased which is interesting because i haven't really been into that all that much but i don't i feel like i really like how my skin looks when i use just a lighter coverage when i use a concealer and a powder and sometimes i want a powder with a little bit more oomph to it to like balance everything out so um but i will say as i was putting it on like it I, 
to me, I was like, oh, I, I don't know if it's gonna be too dark. I didn't really get that vibe and it is very, very lightweight. Like when it says powder, no powder, I understand where they're coming from because it just, it feels like nothing. I really didn't feel like anything was cakey at any point. Like, so again, first impression, you know, first time that I'm trying this, but so far I actually really like it. So I'm excited to keep testing it out, especially on those, you know, just pairing it with like concealer um, and then this powder. So I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to keep trying this one out from Dior. So those are the two products that, that I have on my face got from Bare Minerals their Gen Nude Blonzer. Blonzer. So it's their blush and bronzer. I was very curious about these when um, they came out. So I got the shade Kiss of Copper. When I talked about them first in my Will I Buy It video, I was interested because, oh, it's pretty small. Okay, I will say packaging doesn't like feel the best. It feels kind of flimsy. How much was this? So the Fenty was $29.50. I don't feel like that's a bad price for your one fluid ounce. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, the Dior was 40 and I think the Tatcha was even more expensive, so that's why I was only doing one or the other, but you know, 40 that's still expensive. So this guy is 25 Okay, not like the most, most expensive packaging, just kind of feels a little bit flimsy. Um, but this is, what I say, Kiss of Copper. So I would have thought as a blush and bronzer, it would be like a split pan or something along those lines, but to have it just be, let, let me take you back to old school YouTube, to have it just be like this, I'm like, I don't really get the bronzer part. I only really get like blush, but it's supposed to be like, like this hybrid style of product. I don't know, there's Kiss of Copper. I don't know, I, I mean, okay, you know what's weird? Like as I blend it out more, I can definitely see those like bronzy tones. I don't, should I, I, I think I'll do a trying new makeup right with these products i probably should right um i feel like i could do that i can make that happen because now as i blend it out i'm like very i don't know i'm very curious about this i don't know that's why i bought it i was curious about it i didn't quite get it and uh it finally came available it's been like on the sephora page but coming soon for such a long time but i don't know did anyone else pick it up i'll be curious to try it I did also get this duo from Patrick Ta. This is the Major Sculpt Creme Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. This one was $38 and I got She's Sculpted. She's Sculpted. So this is large. Okay, quite nice. So this is what it looks like. So it definitely reminds me of She's So LA, which is the blush duo that I have because they, I mean, they, they definitely are like bronze toned blushes, but I would say that I wear them as a blush, whereas this is like an actual contour and bronzer. It is larger. Um, again, I just moved all of my makeup is still in boxes. I'm literally working out of one makeup bag. Like <laughs> that's all I have for right now. So I don't know where it's at to be able to like share a comparison, but it is larger. Um, and then we have the cream on one side and then the powder bronzer on the other. I don't know, I'm excited to try it out. I liked She's So LA, but I don't feel like I lost my mind like so many people did. It was the winner in my March Makeup Madness series where you guys are voting on the products. It was like a, the clear winner in the blush category. So I hope that I like this. I am getting more into cream products and I like that it's the cream and the powder. The packaging is really beautiful, so. We'll see. All right, and then I did pick up one skincare product and I got a mini. This is from Paula's Choice. Paula's Choice just became available at Sephora and it is not what you probably think it is. Do you think it's the BHA liquid shenanigans? It's not. Fooled ya. This is the 10% azelic acid. Azel Get it together, Smith. I haven't filmed in like nine days, so cut me some slack. I haven't worn makeup and that long either. This is the 10% azelaic acid booster with licorice and salicylic acid. Okay, so I'm a little bit scared, but this is supposed to clarify an even skin tone. Also, I'm just kidding. For some reason, I thought this was a mini because it is like pretty small. It's not. This is the regular size and it was $36. I feel like, I feel like this is a lot for $36. <laughs> Ooh. So this one, I have, it's interesting. I, I, I don't usually have my laptop next to me. So um, this says a potent, 
a potent azelaic and salicylic acid cream that dramatically and visibly clarifies uneven skin tone, fades acne marks, and reduces redness. So a lot of people have recommended azelaic acid to me for um, acne scars and hyperpigmentation. So I've been really looking into the different products. The Ordinary has one, but The Ordinary really has not worked out for me. I keep buying their products and they keep not working out for me. So with Paula's Choice just becoming available, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and try this one. So I'm really excited. I'm probably gonna start trying it tonight. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I hope that it helps because I do have some spots that I would really like love to get faded. That I would really love to, you know, fade away. But that is the skincare product that I grabbed. And then, like I said, I went into Sephora. Okay, so let me show you what I picked up here. So I did get the Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette. Uh, this released after the sale already started. And when I mentioned this in the Will I Bite video, I was like, I'm probably gonna buy that one. I did get a message from Rare Beauty saying that I wanted to send me PR, but I never got it. Um, at least not by the time that I, I left. So I don't know if that one's actually gonna be coming to me or not. I'm assuming not at this point since everyone seems to have gotten their PR. But that's okay, I said I would just buy it myself. This is the palette and then the inside. I just, I don't know, I was kind of intrigued by this one. I thought the colors were fun. I don't know, that middle shade just looks really beautiful. There's some purples in there, some neutrals. Like, I feel like I could do a lot with this palette. So, um, I'm, I'm interested in it. I would like to take some nice photos before I, I dig in and start swatching. But like I said, I'll do, I'll do tutorials with this. I'll do a trying new makeup video. I like don't know what to film since I've been off YouTube for such a long time, but I feel like trying new makeup makes sense to do like a get ready with me um, using some of these new products, but I'm excited. I believe this was like $29, so I didn't think that was too bad. Um, let me see, I have the receipt right here. Uh, yeah, 29, so it was 23.20 total. And then I did, I mentioned this in this week's Will I Buy It video, but I did grab this from Kaja. This is their Play Bento Blendable Sculpting Trio. I literally got so many complexion products, it's so ridiculous, but this is just like what I'm into right now. Um, no lip products, which is very interesting, very, you know, one skincare, but then I got multiple bronzer blushes, you know, it's just like, it is what it is. I don't know. I thought that this was cute. So this is the little stack from Kaja. I have one of their eyeshadow stacks and honestly, I really don't reach into it all that much, but um, this was $25 and I was like, you know what? I got to see it in store and I was like, okay, I think that this looks cute. So we have the blush. And then the highlight and then this is a cream bronzer so i'm interested in that and i don't know i feel like i would like maybe i would like this more than the eyeshadows because sometimes with only three eyeshadows that's like not enough for me but this is like this is great like this is all that i need so i don't know i hope that i like it i got the 01 butter up is i thought i ended up going with the two no maybe not okay nope so i just went with the one guess that's what I decided on. So yeah, I'm excited to try that out. So that was $25. So that's everything. Oh, wait, I have one more thing to show you actually. So I did not purchase this from Sephora. I did get it from Ulta with my Ulta points, but it's a haul and I thought I would show you. I got it. I got the Dyson hair dryer from the Bob. Really expensive thing. This is what I got. Okay. So like I said, I had a ton of Ulta points. I had like, it was like $125 or $150 and they were expiring March 31st. So I was like, ah. So I went ahead and I got the dryer. The air wrap continued to be out of stock. And I even saw my friend Michelle Wong post at her haul and she was saying that she ordered it. It didn't come. And when she contacted Sephora, they were like, hmm, whatever, like must've ran out and just refunded her, but then couldn't like she couldn't get it. So I think she ordered it from somewhere else, but like it was like a whole thing for her too. So with, I, I did get extensions and the biggest thing for me was that I needed a good blow dryer. I never had one before. So I just got a cheap one and it took so long to dry my hair because I, you have to blow dry your extension tracks. And a lot of times you do also want to like um, round brush through and like kind of like make it look nice. It was taking so long and my hair was so, so frizzy. Cause again, I, like I normally don't blow dry it. So I don't have that issue. And I was like, okay, I need something different. I thought about the air wrap because the prices were so similar to each other, but I really don't curl my hair. This is just with the robe curls. And I either do the robe curls or I braid my hair. 
and then let that sit. Like I have not, a curling iron has not touched my hair since I got my extensions. So I was like, I don't know, I just don't feel like I need it. And then it kept being out of stock. I was like, I'm just gonna get the blow dryer because that's what I really need and that is what I will use. So I got it, it was like, what is this, $450, $500, something like absolutely ridiculous. I use the smoothing um, nozzle and then it does also have the diffuser. And then it has this one too, which I cannot remember for the life of me what this one does. I don't remember, I've just been using the smoothing one because I was having problems with frizz. This is so, so fast. I mean, I really wanted this to be worth it because it was so, even using points, it was still very expensive. But I, at this moment, I do not regret it. I've used it many times and the quickness is great because my arms don't hurt so bad. You know, trying to blow dry my hair. The quickness is great, but my hair is so smooth. It's not like completely frizz free, but when I would blow dry my hair with another dryer, I mean, it was just like, poof, like it just was not good. This is actually smooth and that makes me so happy. And then usually once I start to style it, then it's great. So, so far this has been worth it to me. Um, I'm really happy with it and I don't regret not getting the air wrap. I just, I feel like I'm just not used, like, would I, would I like it at some point? Sure, but I feel like for what I needed, especially right now, this is gonna do great. So I'm really excited that I got it. So, so far so good with my hair dryer. So yeah, I figured I would show that to you in this haul because that just kind of makes sense. But uh, other than that, that is it. Okay, that's it now. Promise that is it for my Sephora haul with a little sneaky Ulta here at the end. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing my haul. Let me know if you'd want to see that trying new makeup with some of these products. Thank you so much for your support. As um, as you know, I kind of transitioned to a new space and get everything together and get into a new routine. And I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate your support so much during this time. So thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed this one though, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.